Hello, I'm Javier Mota here from Miami. And I'm Nick Miles, and I'm here in Portland, Oregon. And Nick, we were supposed to be in Palm Springs uh, for the Jeep Gladiator Desert Rated Test Drive. So what happened? The COVID-19 happened and canceled all of our work. So now we're just driving around trying to entertain ourselves. I know, and hopefully entertain the, the, people, the people who are watching. And yeah, I mean, actually, I think we were talking yesterday and uh, we have counted, what, 16 events canceled so far in the past, what, yeah. month or like ahead? Yeah, like six weeks, uh, including some trips to see great new vehicles in Germany and England. And the one I'm most disappointed about is driving the brand new Land Rover Defender. I was really looking forward to that, but even things to the in the middle of May have been canceled. So. That's six weeks out. We're going to have to find ways of entertaining ourselves. Well, I guess we're, we are entertaining ourselves right now. We were actually talking about the Defender event in England when we were in uh, Vancouver driving the Volkswagen Crossport, uh, which was actually our last trip. I think it was for me. I don't know if it was for you too. Remember? I did the Honda CRV Hybrid after that, in, uh, which was in Arizona, but that was my last trip. Car production is pretty much halted all around the world but there are still significant cars out there uh, so what are you driving this week i'm driving right now i'm sitting inside that brand new uh 2020 lexus gsf um, which is a really really bright yellow color and a little bit scary but also it's nice to have such an old school v8 rear wheel drive because if we can get back to normal <laughs> this is the car to do it in yeah, exactly. I'm actually like, driving this kind of similar car. This is the Infiniti G60S, the red, the red line uh, version. So this is 400 horsepower. It's a V6, uh, but it has the, the the special kit for the exhaust system, which it sounds really, really good. I'm standing, but like you can hear it a little bit. That sounds amazing. I have to. I will tell you that this uh, this has an amazing exhaust too. And you put your foot down. I don't know if you can hear it. But. Oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of a V8 engine. There's nothing wrong with this. The sad thing about this uh, GSF is this is basically the last GFs that Toyota or Lexus is going to make because the GS is kind of getting retired. Uh, this this is a real sports sedan. And it's a great sports sedan, but everything on this is pretty old school. It's still kind of fun to drive, but it's kind of old school. The tech is definitely old school. The thing with everything that is happening now, um, I mean, who knows? Like, really nobody really knows what's going to happen. But I think I've been reading about, like, car companies are going to have to, like, reevaluate the strategy looking forward because, I mean, for example, uh, electric hybrid cars they're not making any money or, or very little money and now as, as you are driving a v8 i'm having a v6 here maybe the the internal combustion engine is gonna get a boost out of this i don't know what do you think um, and by the way i'm gonna start driving a little bit so because i'm jealous of you so i'm gonna start driving uh yeah look i think you're absolutely right javier i think what's gonna end up happening is that gas is gonna see a resurgent we're gonna kind of put the environmental stuff on hold for a while because that was an initiative that doesn't really support functioning as normal in the world um so we're actually gonna probably relax some of those laws for now, I don't think it's going to be a permanent thing, but at the same time, energy is going to become more valuable. Uh, gas prices have dropped immensely. I have a friend who buys diesel commercially, and they were telling me that they're buying that for 88 cents a gallon when they buy commercial diesel. Um, so that's really, really low. Most of us are paying around $2 and less a gallon for gasoline right now. It could drop even further. So it makes sense to have a big SUV. Plus, I think because people are getting nervous. Look, you've seen the lines at the gun store because people are thinking, well, I may, I may I maybe have to go hunt my food in the future. But at the same time, I think people are going to say, listen, if I have to go live in the middle of nowhere away from people to save myself from COVID-19, it's not necessarily uh, a sports sedan that I'll do that in. It's probably more like 
uh, a big truck, a big SUV, something that can actually get my whole family, my dogs, my kids in, and all my gear, and go out into the wilderness. So I think people are going to start thinking that way. Exactly, and it's not going to be an electric car either, because like again, if it's going to be that that kind of uh, situation. I mean, the infrastructure is not there now, and car companies and the whole automotive industry doesn't, it's not gonna have all the resources that they were deploying towards that, that kind of technology now that this has happened. I mean, like, the industry is gonna get a huge hit out of this for sales, for everything. So, I mean, we're gonna go back five, 10 years in, in terms of what was going on with the industry, maybe? probably even more than that but I, I only think it's temporary I think the other thing that's gonna happen which is gonna be surprising for a lot of people is that those companies that weren't doing so well are gonna get rid of a lot of their models and cancel a lot of stuff lifestyle cars are gonna be less of an option it's gonna be more you know utility vehicles instead of seeing vehicles like this the GSF and vehicles that you're driving you're probably gonna see more things like uh, track hawks where you're going to get SUVs that have amazing performance or you're going to get other vehicles yeah. like that that have amazing performance and so people are going to sort of get into this it's got to be a utility vehicle even if it has great performance and a good zero to 60 mile an hour time plus I think those brands that you know the vehicles that just weren't selling well we saw Ford cancel oh, all yeah. of their cars except for the Mustang we saw GM do the same I suspect you'll see cars and, and small companies kind of roll over. So I would suspect you'll see Mitsubishi roll into Nissan. I suspect you'll see companies get rid of things like Chrysler, get rid of the 300 and turn it into an SUV. Those type of things are going to change rapidly. So they start to say, listen, we're going to lessen our models, which was already happening, by the way. I mean, Mercedes and BMW were already lessening their models. Sorry. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of BMW, they just like had announced the i4 concept car that was supposed to come into production in 2021. So, like a lot of uncertainty now. Like nobody knows what's gonna happen. But for now, I mean, that this is what we're gonna be doing for the next what a month, six weeks, maybe. So it was uh, nice to talk to you, Nick. I'm gonna let you go back and enjoy that Lexus very important that I'm driving in Miami my weather is a little bit better than yours I think <laughs> yeah I'm dealing with uh, gray skies and rain I had to use the windshield wipers just to be able to mount the cameras today so uh, yeah listen have fun driving I'm totally jealous of the weather although I'm actually out in the country right now enjoying a country drive so uh, I'm staying away from the big city yeah exactly me too I mean very little traffic very light traffic here in Miami I'm sure it's the same there and that's what it's supposed to happen so we'll talk soon Nick and uh, I mean subscribe to our channel like follow us we are still working in a very different way but we are working still hey Javier I miss you me too Nick see you talk to you later, talk to you later. Bye. bye bye